can you see the clouds so dark it is the roads are pretty wide here despite this being in the town limits so i just finished my tea break and we are yet to do another 36 kilometers google map is showing another 50 minutes for our destination you want to leave this place where we grew up this old town just put it all behind remember you and i would always find somewhere to hide when we were kids so we could see and hear the water run river's gonna cry when you're gone I'm still at Karnataka border but still people at this place are almost talking Telugu everywhere. Though there's Kannada wordings and boats and everything but people their mother tongue seems to be like Telugu. Predominant uh, Telugu people are here which is so nice to see actually. I mean I really love India for this one particular reason because we do have issues between languages for sure. But still, there are a certain set of people who lives with that as well and have no issues. And I'm one such among them. I really love every language, despite my mother tongue being different. I equally love every language because every language has a uniqueness to it, a cuteness to it. When the right person speaks it, you really fall in love with the language and we feel like, you know, we should also be learning the language. It's just that I don't have patience to learn. What they say is Hear it all when they talk about me What they say is I don't care now I'm a do me What they say is Loud and clear Weddings here are done very grandly here by the way I've heard people saying that usually in towns and hallies they spend a lot on weddings Stand up guy won't see me fall Stay in the cup won't see me ball Cause I'm low key And they think they know me Like a 30-30 try to dig And also I think some people try building bungalows here And keep it like a farmhouse I just saw a couple of houses on the way right now And damn those were huge are pretty wide here despite this being you know in in the town limits it's very wide if you if you guys can actually see it it's super wide you should be very careful in turnings like this Can you see the clouds so dark it is? From October, I think it's going to rain, guys. I still believe that my vlog is certainly a little different, uh, a little more raw because I don't do much of the editings. I just capture and I capture for editing. So basically, I cut my video where I feel like I have to edit it. So there's not much editing that I do on my video when I render them out. So my, you know, vlogs are usually very raw and hope you guys love it. In case if you're following me all this long, please do give me a thumbs up and also do subscribe uh, to my channel. So there's another ride that I'm supposed to take here. Lots of petrol bung guys, like I saw almost close to 5-6 so in case you're taking this route and uh, you're worrying what about the petrol bungs and stuff, you really don't have to worry. Lots of Indian, lots of Bharat, I saw one HP also on the way. 
so this is a good road to take as well but the only problem is that lot of speed breakers lots every 200 300 meters there's a speed breaker maybe because people since the roads are wide they try going very fast and it's not a highway sort of a setup right it's usually between the towns and villages maybe that's why they're having it see not even 100 meters and right here there's another uh, Lipakshi 30 kilometers it's written on the board but it was in Kannada benefits of knowing Kannada when you are in Karnataka there was no English words actually there so someone new would actually be wondering why is it again showing right it seems like we're going back to the same place where we came from but no there was a board that said Lipakshi so I'm 100% sure that we are on the right way because at times Google do you know mess up look at the road oh god it's so smooth like a butter there's literally nothing on the road it's so clean and it's so smooth lately i have fallen in love with sugarcane juice i don't know why i recently happened to get a viral uh, flu and uh, during that point of time the only liquid that really went in well for me was uh, sugarcane because usually post your fever you do get sore uh, taste right on your uh, tongue no matter what you have you're gonna get that uh, taste or tasteless more than sore it's going to be tasteless while i had sugarcane juice that was the only thing that my tongues could uh, sense because of the sweetness uh, loaded in the juice I have not had my breakfast yet so I am hoping to have a breakfast before I enter the temple so that I am a little energetic while I am there vlogging or trying to shoot things because every time I do this when I am travelling out of excitement and desperate I just keep travelling travelling and once I reach the destination I am super exhausted because I have not had enough breaks I have not had enough food that's not something that I'm going to do now. So let me have like proper uh, breakfast before I go. Even the smallest hotel which is hygiene and clean is okay with me. Melia Baichapur Bijapur, sorry. That's not Baichapur, that's Bijapur. Can you just see the view of the mountains and hills up there? Oh. definitely feel like I'm in another country if not for these hoardings and advertisement boards but otherwise just look at it the color of it just feels like super nice and the roads are very curvy like and I'm liking that speed limit is 30 okay there's hospital crossing and all that here that's why 
very very careful when you're crossing a herd of sheep or goats because one among them is going to be very notorious and they're going to cross you while you're on the way and things again go sideways <laughs> <laughs>